In today's video, we'll dive into the question of whether higher than normal oxygen levels might be an effective therapy for concussions, which are a category of traumatic brain injuries, or TBI. One of the most challenging injuries to treat and recover from are TBIs. Partly it's because the injury is largely invisible, unlike a broken bone. Another challenge is the societal stigma around mental health issues. TBIs can occur from many sources and in many situations. We are probably all becoming much more aware of the prevalence in contact sports like American football, hockey, or boxing. They can also occur in military personnel and in vehicular accidents. Another unfortunate cause of TBIs that may actually be a massive underreported epidemic is in situations of domestic violence. TBIs are not restricted just to direct impacts to the head, but can occur without direct head trauma. For example, whiplash from car accidents or with violent shaking can also cause TBI, along with the concussion sound waves from bomb blast for military individuals. The wide variety in causes and symptoms make it very difficult to generalize about TBI or to plan or predict recovery. One common theory to what happens with concussion-related TBI is that the trauma causes bruising of the brain tissue, which in turn can cause inflammation along with damage to the blood vessels and nerves within the brain. Over the past couple of decades, one proposed medical treatment is the use of hyperbaric oxygen therapy, which involves being inside a small chamber where the pressure is increased resulting in higher than normal oxygen levels being breathed into the body. The theory is that this increases the delivery of oxygen deep into the brain tissue, speeding up healing and theoretically increasing repair and regrowth within both the blood vessels and the nerves in the brain. There are mixed results within the scientific literature about the effectiveness of hyperbaric oxygen therapy, however but that might be partly due to the challenges inherent in research. As noted earlier, the wide individual variability in TBI means that there might not be one single therapy that will work for all TBI. There's also the well-known placebo effect, where just being offered any form of treatment might be of benefit compared to not being offered any treatment. Because therapy requires being under pressure inside a chamber, it's very hard to mask or hide the patients from knowing if they're under pressure or not. Finally, it could be that the patients just got better regardless of therapy, in much the same way that a muscle bruise would get better over time regardless of whether we treated it or not. In a 2021 review of 12 studies from 2000 to 2020 that directly tested hyperbaric oxygen therapy, for TBI recovery, Biggs sought to determine the overall benefit of hyperbaric oxygen therapy and also how much of that benefit was due to the therapy itself and how much was due to the control condition without actual hyperbaric therapy. He analyzed the effect on both cognitive or mental performance tasks and also on the changes in symptoms. The first conclusion was that therapy did improve responses in mental functioning and symptoms, with medium and large improvements, respectively. The yellow parts of the two pie graphs show the percentage of benefit that occurred with the control condition in these studies, which was about one-third of the overall benefit from treatment. This might seem bad, but even when you take away the normal improvements found with the control conditions, Hyperbaric oxygen therapy still seemed to provide clear benefit in healing from TBI. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done before hyperbaric oxygen therapy can be recommended across the board for TBI treatment, but I hope that this video gives you a deeper insight into its potential. I'm Professor Stephen Chung, and I run the Environmental Ergonomics Lab at Brock University in Canada 
We post new videos on different aspects of environmental physiology every Wednesday. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.